Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Cheat Manager, the Damage Target Node. The Damage Target Node is pretty simple. It will do a damage event at the target that the camera is currently facing. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So in this example, I'm shooting off from where my camera's at. I'm shooting forward. You can see the little line trace. I'm updating it every frame. And you can see I have a target in front of me. Now, if I hit the damage target button here, well, nothing's going to happen. There's no damage event here. But this cube right here does have a damage event on it. And I have a little health value. When the damage event is triggered, it subtracts health. We can see the health right here in a debug string. If I hit damage target, it passes along 50 damage. That's the amount right here. So for example, if I want it to be 100, you just change the amount. I could target it again and hit damage target and you'll see it hitting. And this is basically going to be anything in the view, basically a line trace as you can see here. Now the line trace doesn't need to be done. If I just untick this, for example, and I run the code again, we can still have it facing and hit damage target and it will go down. I simply did the line trace to demonstrate what it looks like because it's again from the actor we're looking at from our viewport of our camera it's going to apply a damage event and by damage event if we open up our cheat cube we have our simple apply damage event you of course have multiple functions you can override for damaging radial damage point damage and any damage event and it simply passes it in and fires off the event so it's useful if you need to easily check something out you want to make a debug menu where you want to simply apply damage to something but maybe you don't want to code it in anything specific we can use the damage target node which is off of our cheat manager 